Welcome to the final episode of Getting Started with Game Creator. Because games can take much longer than an hour to complete, most of them allow the player to save their progress and load it back the next day. Game Creator makes it very easy to save, load, and choose which data gets saved between play sessions. In the previous episode, we learned that variables can persistently save their value when the Save toggle is enabled. However, we can also store other objects data using the Remember component, which can be attached to any game object. This component contains a list of memories which store a particular data set of the current game object. For example, adding the Position memory stores the game's object position when saving the game. Loading the game will restore the game object's position to where it was when the game was saved. Before getting started, let's first create two UI buttons, one for saving the game and another one for loading it. So we right-click on the hierarchy panel and select Game Creator UI Button. We'll change its name and place it somewhere easily accessible. When this button is clicked, we want to save the game. So in order to do that, we add the Save Game instruction. We'll leave the Save Slot field to 1, but we could change this if we were making a game with multiple data slots. If we were to click this button, Game Creator would save the state of the game. Let's duplicate the Save button and place it somewhere else. We will change its name as well as replace it with the Load Game instruction. Currently, there's nothing to be saved, so let's populate the scene with things that can store their state. We'll create a cube and add the Remember component. By default, it stores its position, rotation, and scale. We can enter play mode and see how modifying the cube's transform properties and saving the game results in the object keeping the shape after loading the game. We hope you learned a lot from these tutorials. To know more about Game Creator, we recommend checking out our YouTube channel, where we regularly update it with new tutorials. Alternatively, you can take free courses on our website that will bring you up to speed with more advanced concepts. Lastly, the documentation is the primary reference page to look if you have any questions. Good luck with your projects and happy game making!